breaking news. Destruction and outrage continue across the Twin Cities tonight. In just the last hour, Max at Pond at 28th and Lake near the Minneapolis Police, uh, Police 3rd Precinct went up in flames. That's what you're looking at right there. Here now is a live look at protesters who just marched onto Interstate 94 at Highway 55. You can see the backup that they're causing on the freeway right now. Thanks for watching WCCO, also streaming on CBSN Minnesota. Right now, there are three major protests happening in the Twin Cities over the death of George Floyd. Here is the latest on the investigation tonight. Police released a 911 transcript that sheds light on what was happening before officers arrested Floyd. The FBI and Hennepin County attorneys say that they had their top investigators on the case, but they haven't announced any possible charges. Today, the governor ordered the National Guard to help protect Minnesotans from violence during these protests. Our team of reporters are monitoring several of them across the Twin Cities tonight, and we are going to begin with Erin Hassanzada. She's in St. Paul right now, where police have been trying to control riots and fires. Erin? Amelia, we've seen fires large and small. We were actually running with people away from tear gas and flashbangs. We got a taste of that ourselves. We saw more looting. We saw police in riot gear. Uh, we saw journalists wearing bulletproof vests. It's very clear that the pain is very real and it's still spilling out into the streets of St. Paul tonight. This is a makeshift medic center. You can see the supplies and we'll get to this in a moment. But we started our day near Grand Avenue and Victoria in St. Paul at First Grand Avenue liquors, which was smashed in and looted by 20 to 30 people this afternoon. We talked to the owner who was boarding up shop. He says it happened 10 minutes after he closed early because of the protests. And they had broken into the Walgreens. And when I saw that, I just had a feeling. I turned around and I came back. And by the time I got here, they were breaking into the store, throwing rocks and all the windows and everything. But the epicenter in St. Paul was near Hamlin and University tonight in the Midway area near Allianz Field. There was a, a restaurant and auto parts building, a shared building on fire. Huge, huge plumes of smoke there. Other little fires st uh, starting. And that's when we started hearing those flashbangs. That's when we got tear gas. The target near Hamlin and University was looted this afternoon, smashed out, police cars smashed. And those looters were also tear gas. But we found refuge from that in a makeshift medic center, which is now centered here at Bethlehem Lutheran. Medics eventually moved here to this church half a mile away from the center of things to sort of set up shop. These crews are regrouping and dividing up supplies, sending out roaming crews for the rest of the night. Tonight is just, just to, to make sure that whatever happens to people, they get the, the, best, uh, the best support and best care that they can. And so the, cr the crews tonight will be armed with things like bottles of milk, bottles of water, hand sanitizer. They still have cars pulling in here tonight. Uh, medics, volunteers, a lot of this came together at the last second, have been pulling in, loading up cars, sending them off to hot spots as they pop up. And so they're prepared for a long night out here, Amelia. All right, Aaron, and I hear are the fire. Are those fire trucks behind you or near you? It sounds like there's a lot, a lot of fire trucks there. Yep. Yep, we can we can see off in the distance uh, the lights. We're not far from Hamlin and, and University here, and so uh, we do hear the sirens as well, obviously, um, but no indication of where they're going. We can't see any smoke in the air at this point, Amelia. But it, it's hard to keep up because things keep popping up and and moving Certainly as right we've seen that. throughout the day. Yeah. All right, Erin. Thank you.